Cyclonus, now available in either light or dark mode. Legacy selects Cyclonus today on World of Stuff. Now, right off the bat, we're going to start answer the one question. Why would I have this and review it when I've already done a review of this version and I know it's good? Well, there are some minor differences here and we'll get into them, but the... Mostly I wanted to do this because there are some things that I haven't done with the previous two figures. Which are the Kingdom Cyclonus and the Metal Hawk. Which I have finally found all the figures for so I can f finally do the things I've wanted to do with these figures. In, the, in a review anyway. Don't look at me like that. First of all we'll get off to why this coloration is like this in the first place in case you are unaware. This actually represents more of the Generation 1 toy coloration, which means it also includes the Target Master Nightstick here, along with the uh, blast effects. Additionally, there are also some stickers, which you could add to further improve or add on to the toy version likeness. They're not quite the same as some of the other ones, but it's close enough to where you can add or subtract as you please. And it's a nice bonus. Now, as for comparisons, again, we start off with Kingdom Cyclonus. And because it is a uh, Cyclonus, here is Studio Series Scourge. Don't ask. Here we have Metal Hawk. Again, similar transformation scheme, but done differently enough to make it interesting. Universe Cyclonus. Yeah, he's seen some better days. And let's see here now. Ah, here we go. The Botcon Metal Hawk. Because. And finally, because we kind of have to do it this way. Select Galvatron. Yeah. Back to uh, it's a close proper. We'll move the other gun. Fold and separate these wings. Like so. Uh, make sure you just fold in the landing gear. Otherwise, well, this part will get hindering. Anyway, then we'll separate the arms from the fuselage. Twist out for the hands. Repeat the other arm. Like so. And now you have yet another plane doing a push-up. Okay, moving on. Fold out this part, which will be the shoulders. Fold out the <clears throat> knees. Yeah, bit of sticker wear already. Kind of nature of the beast, I'm afraid. Okay, fold up these bits. Fold out the feet. Fold in, fold in. For the back of the legs, they have to separate. So, let's see now. Oh, there we go. Now I got that. And then this. Bring up. Bring down, bring down, and for the fun bit that we all appreciate, fold in this, open, fold in this way, twist, reveal the head, collapse, tap these in, turn these around, and a one, and a two. Legacy selects Cyclonus robot mode. Now as for uh, the uh, ports, or yes, I'm doing this in robot mode, because, well, this is where it gives us the most options. We do have two for blast ports in the uh, jet engines, I guess, jet ports, I guess you call them. Two in the feet, one on each lower leg, one in the forearm, one in the upper arm, and one on the back. So if you want, you could just and either weapon right there. And you can have whatever blast effect you want. You can even have a blast effect post right there if you so choose. As for articulation, same as the previous Cyclonus, ball jointed head, universal joint for the shoulder, bice, uh, <clears throat> bicep rotation, elbow bend, wrist rotation, a little bit limited with a gun and the uh, ailer on there, but you can still get a decent amount. Waist swivel, universal joint for the hips, 
<clears throat> thigh swivel, very decent knee bend, and ankle tilt. So, same articulation, which is a good thing, just in a darker color. Kind of like the, the Mortal Kombat ninjas, isn't it? One more thing. Fold up this part for the wings. There we go. Now we have Cyclonus in proper robot mode. Now for comparisons, here again we have Kingdom Cyclonus. And it's a good thing they kept that light piping because that really stands out. But yeah, the dark purple definitely makes for an interesting choice. And if you appreciate the toy version colors, or if you even appreciate the uh, the universe version, it's a very nice choice. Although, clearly they don't quite match. This one is clearly darker than those two. But, still, it's something. Alrighty, moving on with more comparisons. Again, here we have Metal Hawk. But with that, with that different head, the clone is definitely a uh, Looks a bit, quite a bit taller, doesn't he? Okay, we got <clears throat> Scorch, and we have Galvatron. So let's get these three together here. Now there's an image for you. Now, getting a hold of this might be a tad bit tougher since it is an online exclusive, but the price differential, even depending on where you get it shipped, isn't that much different from this figure. So if you prefer the toy colors, or just like some stickers to come with the figure, then this is definitely a nice choice, especially since it does come with the additional Target Master, if that excites you. Anyway, I've been to Zept Wolf. This has been Legacy Selects Cyclonus, and I remind you all, free your mind, free your toys.